In the first four weeks of the Factory Frame Studio, I've worked with four predetermined display situations where I developed different straight projection images to explore the visual potential carried by these unique physical and geometric structures. Two of them being a 2D display with some slight twists which allow the saturated imagery to be projected on the surface in one piece. Two of them being a 3D structure in the form of a human-shaped sculpture and a pyramid, where the form of the images will be affected by the material, surface and angle of the structure. Despite enjoying working with all four situations, I discovered a particular interest in working with and designing saturated images for a more uninterrupted display with some uniqueness on its own. Something like situation 1 and 2 where I am able to showcase a more whole design image uninterruptedly or benefiting from each display structure to be able to display a new layer of visuals through different perspectives, forms, contracts, or the ways of experiencing. Inspired by the mirrored imagery idea from Situation 1, as well as some of the works done by Yayoi Kusama and Team Lab, which involves creating an infinite space made of imageries using mirrored reflection in a closed space. The audience being the observer outside of the world happening inside the digital screen for most of the display situations in our day-to-day -day life, whether it is a mobile phone, monitor, or ads display board. The idea from both Kusama and Team Lab of inviting the audience to become a part of the image itself using a mirror room situation really fascinated me. As this is a shift of identity and position from the audience simply being a third party viewer to a participant of the image. Our figure and body actions in this mirrored room would contribute to and become a part of the imagery through the infinite reflections. So in a way, we entered and living in the world inside of the digital display. With the intention to create an immersive mirror space, I propose a cube display structure for situation 5 where the projection screen is surrounded by four pieces of mirror as shown in the graph. Any still moving image projected to the display would be reflected and created into an infinitely looping visual through the mirrors. The situation could be in room size with the audience and projector located inside of the cube with an additional surface of mirror to make up a closed space as it will offer the maximum level of immersion without any object outside of the space spotted in the reflections. However, given time and resources, the situation for this course can be reduced in the smaller version of the room size idea. Placed on the desk or the ground with one surface left open for the projection light coming through, the structure should be in a reasonable scale to still be able to create that immersive experience while inviting the audience to become a part of the image through the infinite reflections. Situated imagery-wise, just like the iconic series of dots work by Kusama and various light installations by Team Lab, a repeated or gradually evolving image composition that does not require a very strict angle of viewing or position of the viewer suits the mirrored cube. As this little control in space over the reflections and exactly which one the audience will be looking at. With networks establishing touch design of our summons one and kept on refining and creating some of the new ones with changes made in the values and elements in the past four weeks. I came up with this series of visual networks that fits into the image composition mentioned previously, which could adapt and display any video or image file into waves and grid, with the ability to precisely control its movements, speed and flow through the network, as well as carrying the potential of manipulating it through motion tracking device or external control panel using OSC. For this presentation, I used the typography made in touch designer and put it through the network. This no specific audience group or environment as the situation and situated imagery are provided for. However, ideally it should be projected in an uninterrupted space like the black box.
In the proposals for suggestion 2, I was trying to depict the visual contrasts as well as the difference in perspectives using moving images related yet opposites to each other. Sets of images such as audio-generated paintings affect masks made using noise from touch designer and apply to photos taken at the same location in real life. In moving typography in white and black, I'll be continuing working with Suggestion 2 as Suggestion 6 in an attempt to curate the forms of expression mentioned above into one to showcase the various contrasts, new perspectives, and forms of reality to displays produced and bring to each other. Inspired by live painting artist Akiko Nakayama, who does live painting on stage in front of the audience or in her studio and recorded using specialized camera. By creating the flow and movement between liquids with different colors, density, humidity, and texture on one canvas, she is trying to depict the energy metamorphosis and the beauty exists in the collations and the boundaries of the paints during the passing moments of her performance. As well as a real-time painting installation called the Connective Review Nagula, which I got to see in person at NGA in Canberra this year. Created by Australian artist Robert Andrew, who practices integrating open source technologies with indigenous material and storytelling. The word Nagula refers to salt water, spoken by the traditional owners of the land around Barum, Western Australia. The word also encompasses of culture, people, and time. Special paint is used in this installation, which is extremely fragile and its surface could easily break with water. The idea behind the work is to review the hidden and its denial history of the indigenous people. From the concept of real time painting by these two artists, as well as their emphasis on the process of drawing and messages or energy such process associated with. I decided to use the audio reactive visual network I produced in Touch Designer last year as a base to create a new set of saturated images for this Jewel display structure. One screen will be displaying real time or real time like video recording with environmental sounds playing. In this presentation, I am showing video and sounds I filmed at a waterfront called West Bund in Shanghai last year for a real time like video streaming website made in studio. The networking touch designer was received the environmental sound and translates it into information in numbers using chops in real time. In this case, I have translated the audio into three numbers, which represents the low, mid, and high channel of the environmental sound. These three numbers controls the x and y coordinates as well as the scale of the circle. Through a few feedback, noise and displaced top, the circle would behave like a brush which it is constantly releasing paint. Subsequently, these three numbers would then control the movement and size of the brush. A forever evolving real-time audio reactive painting system is then made possible for as long as the sound plays. Each video with its unique environmental sound which produces a completely different painting on its own. Changes are being made to the network compared to how it looks like last year in order to reproduce and refine it for the situation. Things like changing values in the lines of chops, especially with mass, so the brush wouldn't move too little or go too far beyond the canvas, as well as adjusting all the feedback and noise and trying to give the final visual a look and texture close to the oil paint texture rather than machine generated. There's still some research and trials needs to be undertaken in order to achieve the desired effect. The process of digitalization is what I'm trying to experience with in this proposal. Information from the state of the reality we perceive is extracted by the machine and media, which is then interprets and reproduces such information into a new form, the outcome being the new state of reality in its own environment and scale. With the Drew display structure, I'm trying to highlight the contrasts and different perspectives and ways of experiencing the reality. As this infinite potential carried within those information we usually take for granted in day-to-day -day life, such as environment mental sound. Approaching assignment 3, situation 6 is the situation I'm currently intending on keeping pursuing as I feel like there's a lot of potential in terms of the relationship and the contrasts that I want to explore with this Drew screen structure, as well as the visual styles and effects that I had in mind but yet not sure on how to execute them in touch design. However, if there's an opportunity in the future where I am able to work with a structure closer to the room size mirrored cube I discussed previously, I would also like to develop further with the wave and grid network as well as the idea of creating an immersive space with audience become a part of the image.